It's time for WPK in the morning with Luke Sagan for the Pledge of Allegiance. Leland Keene with today's weather. Bindi Miller with the score expectations. And Ms. Parker and Ms. Williams with the Pioneer Minutes with today's news. I'm Destiny Gowdy. And I'm Kay Fer- Favorito, but first it's all staying to join Luke for the Pledge of Allegiance. Luke. Good morning, Pioneers. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Now back to our anchors. Well done, Luke. Now let's check in with Leland, who's in the WPKN Weather Studio with a peek at today's weather. Leland? Good morning, Pioneers. Today's weather will be partly cloudy with a 10% chance of rain. The wind will be blowing out of the southwest at 6 miles per hour. The humidity may be 60%. The high today will be 86 degrees with a low of 59 degrees. Have a great day. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Leland, for that informative weather update. For lunch today, our incredible Romeo chefs are preparing for us a choice of crunchy fish nuggets or a beef or beef with carrots and fresh fruit. Don't forget your choice of milk. Now let's join Bindi, who's ready to lead us with our school expectations. Bindi. Good morning, Pioneers. Please repeat the school expectations with me. I'll be responsible, I'll be respectful, I'll be safe, and I'll be a leader. Thank you. Now back to Rankers. Thank you, Bindi. Well, that's all we have for today, Pioneers. Thanks for watching WPKN this morning. Be sure to join us again tomorrow for the the news that kids can count on to start their day. I'm Destiny Gowdy. And I'm Kay Favorito. Until next time, see you later. Bye for now. It's Friday! Good morning, Mrs. Williams. Good morning, Ms. Parker. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Jason. (laughs) All right, everybody, we have a student here with us for some awesome news. But first, we're going to go through our regular routine. So, Mrs. Williams, we have some news today. Some great news. Tic-tac-toe, three days in a row, 100% of the buses. Let's celebrate those. 3007, 3037, 3025, 3005, 3031, 3024, 3026, 3035, and 3029. I knew you could do it. Congratulations, boys and girls. Fantastic job, students. I'm so proud of you for rising to the challenge, making sure that we follow those safety expectations on the bus. Today is our last day of school before spring break, and that's a celebration in itself. But remember, remember how all these kids on the buses had such amazing behavior expectations and followed those? Let's make sure we are doing that today. I don't want to see anyone being pulled out of class going to ISS. I don't want to see anyone in the up main office having to be reminded how to behave today. Although we are excited and there is celebrate celebration worthy things going on, we are going to be on our best pioneer behavior, Bobcat. I mean Bobcats, pioneers, because we want to make sure that you have an awesome day and that everyone can learn. And All right, Parker, they will never get this day. We will never get this day um, back to get bigger, faster, stronger, smarter. So work hard. Talking about stronger, faster, Mr. Mor- Worley, Morley, yeah. tell us a little bit. Read us to us your published piece from the newspaper from Matt Manatee, and we've got your T-shirt for you. Are you ready? Dear Matt, the special place I would like to visit is Brazil. It has beautiful rainforests and beaches. I also really want to learn Portuguese. The language just seems so fun, tough, and rewarding, all at the same time. Your friend, Jason Morley. That's impressive. That is impressive. Jason, how did you know that you speak Portuguese in Brazil instead of Spanish? How did you know that? Because I have friends from Brazil, and I was playing with them, and they spoke Portuguese. And I thought they were speaking Spanish at first, but then they said it's Brazilian. So I thought it was Portuguese, and I was right. 
That is fantastic. That is a very little known fact. And I am really impressed that you knew that. Great elaboration in your Manatee article as well. We're really proud of you, Jason, for setting that standard and doing such a great job representing Romeo. Give me a good handshake here. Well, I know you got things in your hand. Here you go. Fantastic job. Very proud of you. Will you stay with us while we do the words of wisdom? Okay, come on over here. All right. All right, Ms. Williams, do we have any other announcements this morning? We do not. All right. Remember today, we're going to do our best, Romeo, just like we do every day. It's all about learning. All right. So for some words of wisdom, every single one of you listening has the potential to do something truly great with your lifestyle. Every single one of you. It may be that you become the greatest surgeon the world has ever known. Or maybe you become the greatest parent in the world. Either way, greatness is there inside of every single one of you. Parents and teachers and counselors want to help you discover your greatness. Listen to these words of wisdom. Behind almost every great person, there stands a good parent or a good teacher. If you let them, parents, caregivers, grandparents, teachers can help you become the best you can be. And as always, you decide. Today, Romeo, let's start looking for that greatness inside of all of us. If you don't already know what it is, let's help, let us help you get there. It is going to be a fantastic Friday, Romeo. Remember, that choice is yours. Have a great day. Thank you.